Well, we're just rapidly coming towards that uh, moment, ladies and gentlemen, when we reveal who the winner is of this year's Personality of the Year Award. Let's just remind you before we do of those who really did attract the bulk of the votes for the 1994 award. <laughs> Well, we haven't managed to talk to all of them tonight, but they all had their supporters, but now the moment has arrived. I'm delighted to say that uh, to make the presentation this year, we have with us Lord McFarlane of Bears Den, the chairman of United Distillers, whose company, of course, does so much to support Scottish sport. Lord McFarlane. Thank you, do you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was very pleased when I was invited to undertake this pleasant task tonight because it gives me the opportunity to say on behalf of my colleagues from Bells and from all those present this evening, and I'm sure from all the viewers also, how very much we appreciate what BBC do for sport in Scotland. And I've worked with BBC on many occasions, particularly on sports sponsorship through the Bells Scottish Open and the Ryder Cup, and I've constantly been impressed by the expertise and the quality of the people and the technology. And so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is our opportunity to say thank you very much, Doogie, to you and your colleagues for all that you do for all of us tonight. Thank you. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I have to open this magic envelope and read the names of the award winners and I'm going to announce them in ascending order. Starting with number three, and I have to tell you that the award winner number three is Rangers' magnificent striker, Mark Hately. <laughs> and the award winner number two, ladies and gentlemen, is the number one stuker, snooker player in the world, Stephen Henry. <laughs> but the sports scene personality of the year, 1994, is Scotland's leading lady athlete, Yvonne Murray. <laughs> It's not been a bad old year, really, has it? I'm still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it, for goodness sake. Tom McKean did that once. I know, I remember. Uh, so, uh, plans for the new year then, briefly? Is it going to be a quiet time? Uh, it won't be quiet, no. I'll be preparing for next year's World Championships. When I'm determined to come back with the gold medal. I'm yeah. sure there's one or two people you might like to say thank you for, uh, for their efforts in helping you to win this. I certainly do. I mean, I, I don't think I would have been able to um, do as well as I've done this year in, in previous years if it hadn't been from a coach, Tommy Boyle. I remember when things weren't going so well, he told me never to give up my dreams, and it's a dream come true actually standing here tonight. <laughs> well done, Yvonne. Thank there are many congratulations. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, that's it for 1994. We we'll look forward to seeing you with some more winners in 1995. Good night.
On Wednesday evening, we'll be showing a 40th anniversary tribute to an annual sporting institution. Harry Carpenter looks at classic moments from Sports Review of the Year and at some of the great names in sport who've been voted sports personality. 40 years of Sports Review, Wednesday evening at 10.25, BBC Scotland on one. Now on BBC Scotland, stand by for Ruby as she gives our obsession with relationships the full wax. <laughs> 